Hello everyone, I'm Dylan here with my first LEGO Harry Potter 2020 review and now you're probably wondering how did you get this quite early you know? Well, Target of which has them right now. Well, if you go there, just you'll see. Well, same with the new Star Wars set, which now being available in the United States of course. So, we're, so I'll start off with the Hogwarts Room of Requirement. So on the front of the box here you see LEGO LEGO, Harry Potter LEGO. That border that we've seen since uh, since 2018, and Wizarding World logo, all the minifigs there, and every the whole set in action. And recommended ages is seven and up. Set number seven five nine six six has 193 pieces. Then flip to the back, see any of the other views of it, some of the features of the set, of course. And on to the manual, of which same picture as on the front of the box, same everything. And on the back, I went on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And for some of the other sets, minus the two retail exclusives and saying limited availability. Well, for whatever reason, just like they did with the 2019 wave, of course. And for a couple of the features of it, and then the last building steps. Harry himself. And well, his torso print of which done quite goodly. With his Gryffindor tie and everything. But the face print quite common in most other sets, and he is of course wielding the wand, obviously. And his back torso print also quite good. And if look his double sided face, also kinda of common. And next to which is a Probably exclusive variant of Hermione Granger, I would, with the more buttoned up kind of shirt to it, and dark tan wand, of course, and but the face print, which kind of common in other sets, and the like hair piece also, which might be exclusive to this one, of which the double side face also quite goodly, and also slight back torso print, of course. And last of which is Luna Lovegood, for which probably exclusive version of which, as you can see with the Ravenclaw tie and everything. And besides that, the face print of which also the same as in the oh whoops, a uh, Hogwarts uh, astronomy tower and the hairpiece same as from the collectible minifig series two years ago of course and has some more right back torso print of course. And what kind of counts as a figure is this uh, uh, testing dummy or something. The lower part is semi brick built. But besides that, the torso print or front torso print, oh, it's done quite good. And whereas for the face print under that hood, which does look kind of creepy and all, but it's a single sided face. but. And just look from the back, that's the, the back torso print, which also doesn't look quite good. And also you get is two uh, new Patronuses, which almost kind of like the stack from the 2019 uh, Expecto Patronum set, of course, but this time it's a, a rabbit and an honor, or otter, sorry. See, it's trans blue with some nice glittery effect to it, really cool. And do you get the, a single stud on the rabbit, but not for the otter, of course. But hopefully they do some other Patronuses in the future. But unlike the stag, it's their one single piece rather than a couple of single separate pieces, of course. But whereas also with each fig, do you get the like power blasts, just like in that one Fantastic Beast set where you can press it and watch as like so. And also, also you do get uh, this little uh, uh, 
little board of some kind. Which, if I were to say, which is just a sticker, but has quite nice prints to it, of course, and sitting on a couple of single tubes and kind of basic, but nothing from the back, of course. And now, on to the room of requirement itself. So, the building, which is uh, quite good for its, for what it is. But as for these column kind of parts, which done quite really good. Like a couple of jumpers and a plate over it. And from the top view of which has those like circular uh, kind of plates done really goodly. But as for the like fireplace section, but it has a couple of little flames in it. And also good use of the jagged slopes, of course, and also this uh, extra panel here. And it's for a feature which I'll mention in a bit. But however, it's semi-modular, where you can split that in two. And as for the open pins, which makes it another Hogwarts expansion. But it can barely connect to the others, which in one of Just You Goods videos kind of posted, kind of mentioned that. And it's on those like A plate pieces from like the Ninjago Ninjoids and stuff. And if you look at it from the other section, which as you see does have the like large or long uh, bricks, but in clear blue, which is really cool, good for mock making. It has one of the large panel pieces with a couple stickers on it. So there's quite a bit of stickers in this set. And the features can slide that out. And there's the hidden door that you can go into and enter. And that there's this board of which with a lot of print, a lot of stickered tiles, of course, with all these random numbers. There's in feel free to read these. And if you press that thing in the back, and it makes them the top ones launch off, of course, suiting to some of the scenes in the movies. <clears throat> so, well, although what I would have said is to use the like other kind. Of, what I'm kind of don't understand is why there's like two of these kind of uh, well instructions at which they put both of these on to the other holes as well, but make sure one of them is the uh, half and half uh, blue one, like the other corridor sets. So, but yeah. Just let me get it all here. Overall, this I think a pretty good, uh, smallish set at least. Interesting seeing a Hogwarts corridor set in a smallish kind of range, which I hope they do some more of in the future, of course. But at least also get two uh, Patronus animals in different kinds, and yeah, and also a new version of Luna Lovegood, obviously. So plenty of good pieces and a good selection to me, of course. And if you're looking to expand your Hogwarts setup, then definitely go and get this set. Or if you want to continue your uh, collection, then also go ahead and get this. And that's about it with this video. And like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.